that the match is never over. It's never over until that very last point. And I <laughs> that's what I learned today. That uh it's very close but you have to sometimes maybe do something extra. Although I did keep it simple but there was one opportunity that I had could could have done better, I think. Question about facing Rafa. What would you say for you personally are the one or two things that you find the most challenging about facing him on clay? He always gets an extra ball back. It's you never you know you never know for certainty that the rally would be over. There's always one more ball coming back and uh, there were a few shots that I missed. I think was it the game that I got broken that I had the easy ball on the forehand side? Yeah, it just pulls like this, you know. Um, I'm not in the state to like think too much right now, but he's a very he's a real competitor on the court. He he hates to lose. He hates to lose more than anyone else. Uh, how did you feel? Uh... Uh, at, at the final, when, when all the stadium uh, well, was 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 with you at the, that premiation time, uh, it was nice. It was nice, but definitely there was more support from his side, which is quite normal. Um, I like that the fans were trying to encourage me and give me power. Uh, it, it it makes the sport more fair and more fun to watch as well. What positive can you take out of the week, being that you had another week, you made it to another final, you took the King of Clay to three sets, three hours, 38 minutes? That's that's great news. It's great stuff. Uh, I was looking for a win today. I felt like I was close and I felt like there were opportunities, you know, that I had and for some reason I didn't take. Uh, I felt I could have pulled off a better tennis today, uh, but I'm happy with... Uh, I'm happy that you know I brought him so close. I was a match point up, I think. You know, shit happened that shouldn't have happened. A net ball on the match point. Uh, I was literally two centimeters away from winning that match. Do you think that the fact you were able to push him so much and be so close to winning, do you think that your game, being that it was against Rafa on basically his court, is? Your, that your game on clay is in an ideal place as we move forward to Madrid and Rome and Roland Garros. And also, what do you think you did specifically in your game today that you were able to come with, as you said, within a couple of centimeters of winning? I was able to stay patient and wait for my turn. Uh, and uh, that, la that last game that I had the match point, I don't know if it was, I think it was one, no, wasn't it? One match point. Uh, I felt like I had it for some reason, you know, it was that the sensation that I'm, you know, I can get that one. Uh, he's, he's second served and his second serve wasn't, um, you know, the most aggressive one. Uh, I think I did the right choice there, you know, I, I went to the right place. I, I hardly believe I would have gone inside out there, but it was the right decision and just got a little bit unlucky. I, I would say start thinking after that net, you know, like... What a shame! But couldn't 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 close that point. I think it was just it, it was. It's always tough when you get when you get to these moments, and you find yourself uh, battling against stuff like this. It's uh, it's never easy. Um, obviously, you know, mental mental strength is important, but it's uh, details like this, you know, matter sometimes. Luck as well. Today, I think also it was a lot to do with luck. Um, Definitely, definitely that. Is uh, the fighting spirit of Rafael Nadal uh, an inspiration for you? Yeah, for sure, it is. I haven't seen anyone fight like this, and uh, he makes my life really difficult on court. But I'm, whenever I'm there to accept it, uh, to accept on uh, accept those terms and uh, play um, based on the based on on, on on his desire to, to, to fight. It also kind of makes me a better player and uh, I, I can see myself reaching my limits. So it's definitely something uh, good to have 
um, for my personal development and growth.